हाय गाइस जय श्री महाकाल तो ये है चैप्टर टू प्रेशर मेजरिंग डिवाइसेस एंड द मेजरमेंट ऑफ प्रेशर तो विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन डेप्थ ऑफ फ्लूइड इज मेजर्ड इन वर्टिकल जेड डायरेक्शन एक्स एंड वाई आर द अदर टू डायरेक्शन एंड आर म्यूचुअली परपेंडिकुलर द स्टैटिक प्रेशर वेरिएशन अंडरलाइन सॉरी अंडरलाइन दिस स्टैटिक प्रेशर वेरिएशन इन द फ्लूइड इज गिवन बाय व्हाट now let's see suppose these are x and y directions and this is z direction pressure variation in, in an static fluid only in an static fluid the pressure variation is dependent on this z the height or the depth of the fluid that can be written as del p equals to minus rho g del z so this is what the depth so so the correct answer should be this one and the negative sign is just showing the direction of pressure question number 2 same question if z is vertically upward rho is the density and g is the gravitational acceleration then the pressure del p by del z in the fluid variation at rest due to gravity is given by so the answer will be b third question is a good question The manometer shown in the figure shown below, uh, figure below connects the two pipes carrying oil and water respectively. Here oil is placed and here water is placed. Now we see that the level of mercury is same. It means pressure here at point one equals to pressure at point two. But we know that density of oil is less than density of water. I will take one example. For this YouTube, if oil is placed in the left side and the water is placed in the right side, since the density of water uh, oil is less, so more amount of oil is required to balance this water to get equal pressure at this position. In in our question, the pressure is uh, water level and oil level is same. So in this pipe here in these two pipes, definitely here pressure will be more so that it can balance or it can. Push the oil to get the equal pressure levels. So definitely here, if we take P O, if we take P in this pipe P W, so P O will definitely be greater than P W. That is the concept. So we can from the figure one, we can conclude that the pressure in the pipes are equal. Definitely not. Pressure in the pipes. If pressure in the pipes are equal, then this water level, the oil level will become like this. It will a bit reduce. Okay. Now, uh, and conclude that the pressure in the oil pipe is higher. Yes, this is correct. So B is the right answer. Okay. Question number four: Exertion measuring. Again, I have told you. You have to write exertion. Then write because. Then write reason. This way, you have to solve it. You have to combine it. You have to write exertion. Write because. then reason okay u2 manometer connected to a venturi meter fitted in a pipeline can measure velocity through a pipe yes if it can measure discharge then definitely it can measure velocity now because u2 manometer directly measures dynamic dynamic and static head but it can measure dynamic head that is the reason why it can measure the velocity head so reason is also correct and it is correct explanation इसकी आप थ्योरी देखेंगे यूट्यूब मैनोमीटर की और वेंचुरी मीटर की बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक है बहुत से क्वेश्चन आते हैं क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव द डिफरेंस इन द डिफरेंशियल मैनोमीटर इज शोन इन द फिगर बिलो इज यूज टू मेजर द डिफरेंस इन प्रेशर एट पॉइंट ए एंड बी इन टर्म्स ऑफ स्पेसिफिक वेट ऑफ वाटर डब्ल्यू सो इट इज व्हाट रो डब्ल्यू इनटू जी The specific gravity of the liquid are given as S1, S2, S3. The, the correct differential pressure difference. We need to find out P A by rho G minus P B by rho G. So first we have to take datum here because pressure water level is same. Uh, sorry, mercury levels are same here. If we take here datum. The level here it is different liquid and here it is different liquid so we cannot take uh, 
uh, this button. So we can take this button. Now point one, point two. So pressure at point one uh, equals to pressure at point two. Equate so what we will get P A plus H one H one G here velocity uh, specific gravity specific gravity is S one in this fluid Y S two S three okay now in the right hand direction P B plus H three is O two G plus H two, ये row three आएगा, या H three. Now we need to find out this sum. तो B को इधर लेकर आइए, जब left hand side में P A minus P B, और row G से divide कर दीजिए. तो इधर क्या होगा? H three row two plus H two row two. X one row one G G G cancel out. See these are the actual gravity. These are not the specific gravity. So जब हम row G से divide करेंगे, तो this term becomes specific gravity. क्या आ जाएगा S three S one G cancel out हो गया plus H two S two minus H one S one. So this will be the answer. So किस option में है H H three? What I have written. Plus atmospheric and let kilo plus pass per load one lakh pass per. So what you will get hundred kilo pass per load plus five kilo pass per. Here it is five kilo pass per minus three kilo pass per. So that will be one one zero three kilo pass per or ten to the power three pass per. If you want to convert in terms of height, we have to divide it by rho t. That is. Three into ten to the power three by rho g. Rho is what ten to the power three. Gravity and ten. So what we will get ten point three atoms. So we will be done approximately. As taken gravity as ten, that is the reason why it is coming a bit greater value. No issue. And that one hard problem. Question number seven. A mercury manometer is fitted to a pipe. It is mounted on a delivery line of a centrifugal pump. Line of a centrifugal pump. One limb of a manometer is connected to the upstream side of A. This and other limb is B. Here it is a wall. When you rotate this, it will go up or down or restrict the flow. Now. The manometer reading X with different valve positions. With the gradual closure of the valve, the magnitude of X will go on increasing, and even a situation may arise when the mercury will be sucked. Yes, sure. See, it is it is closing. So suppose in initial stage, water is flowing to this whole region, but after gradual closure. Suppose it is closed that much, so there is less pressure. So here, velocity will increase in this position. Velocity will increase because water needs to flow in the less cross section. The continuity equation here it is 2a, here it is a, here velocity is v, here it is 4v. So velocity will increase. Velocity will increase means pressure will decrease. Kinetic head, kinetic head increases and the potential head will decrease the connection because the total energy needs to be constant. So pressure come होगा तो यहाँ पर इस point से pressure come होगा तो ये नीचे जाएगा और ये ऊपर आएगा. तो बहुत ही gradual closure होगा यहाँ तक closure हो गया तो यहाँ पर pressure इतना कम हो जाएगा कि ये stuck हो जाएगा mercury water level. That is the reason. Why ejection is correct now? Because with the gradual closure of the valve, the pressure at A will go on increasing. Here, this definitely pressure here will increase. 
here it will decrease and total pressure total energy will be change so here pressure will increase and it will here it will decrease so assertion is also correct and its reason is also correct so answer will be a you can rewind the video what i have said you should know because it is a good concept i think now next question number 8 Question number eight. The reading of the gauge A shown in the figure below is what? So first apply the Bernoulli here, one and two. So pressure head at the water will be equal to plus one two five six zero. So pressure here will be one two five and two thirteen point six. So that will be a uh, minus 3.4 meter of water so now this point is minus 3.4 meter of water that's in pressure now again apply Bernoulli here in this point Ca equals to oil 4 into specific gravity of oil then point 0.8 this point is minus Plus of what is the pressure? Tha? Minus 3.4 meter of water. 3.4 is the 32 minus 3.4. So minus 0.2. Minus 0.2 meter of water. So we will convert the pressure. So 0.2 into 32. So into 100. Now, it's for another degree. So, 2 per degree. 2 kilopascal. Minus 2 kilopascal. We have the kilopascal. We have the kilopascal. Then we got 3. And it will cancel. 0.2 kilopascal. Uh, sorry, 2 kilopascal. 0.2 into 10 is 2 kilopascal. Across. So, B will be the answer. Question number 9. A YouTube nanometer is connected to a pipeline conveying water is shown in the figure. We want to find out pressure of water here. The pressure of water here will be in this will be in kilo. It, it is in kilopascal. Okay. Now plus what you have to do take here as weapon one position two position. So here total pressure will be P water plus 0.56 into Directly put point A work. That is water, so it will be 1. Now this is, this is in kilopass. Sorry, in terms of meter of water. Now equals to here 0.45 into 13.6. That is specific gravity of mercury plus 0.5 this into specific gravity 0.88. So overall we will get 6 meter of water. This is all done. Now this is a long process. So you can say that P water is a crow g. A crow g equals to a crow g. Pura a crow g is a long process. So it is a long process. So directly in the direction of kilo pascals or meter of water. You can keep your head and keep your specific gravity. So it will come directly in the meter of water. Did you put a meter of water on the head? Next question. Pitostatic tube is used to measure the velocity of water using a differential gauge which contains a nanometer to a tube of relative density 1.4. The deflection of the gauge fluid when water flows at velocity 1.2 meter. This is LM. If you have a velocity, you have to find out the head point out. Deflection of water मिलते हैं और इनकी rho of nanometric fluid upon rho minus one करते हैं। कई बार one minus something भी आता है, लेकिन हमें ठीक आधे trick ध्यान रखिए कि ये जो one है ना हमें जब बाद में आए, ठीक तो होता है। ठीक है ना? और ये h क्या होता है? g square by two g। तो g क्या हो गया अंदर root two g h। तो directly you can write g equal to अंदर root 2g 
और ये जो x है into deflection है into rho and nanometer cube by rho minus one इस तरीके से लिखिए ना तो ये एक तरीके आपको मुझे काम आई one बाद में आएगा कंफ्यूज नहीं होना कि one minus वगैरह सब इधर लिख दिया तो one बाद में now v क्या है one point two और इसको square कर दो इसको two into v hundred ले लो into x रोएम क्या दिया हुआ था सब मैंने बस एक टू इसका रोएम वन लिया था और वाटर की तरफ से तो वाटर का वन होता वन पॉइंट फोर बाय वन माइनस वन तो एक्स क्या हो जाएगा वन पॉइंट टू बाय स्क्वायर ऑन ट्वेंटी इंटी ये क्या हो जाएगा पॉइंट फोर एमएम में पूछा तो हंड्रेड से मल्टीप्लाई कर दो थाउजेंड से ठीक है एक इंच की टेबल यहाँ काम आ गए तो ये अप्रोक्सीमेटली क्या आ जाएगा वन एटी so we will be done.